So hey guys, welcome to Punjab Youth in Action. In today's video, you are going to learn about gender in Punjabi as there are two genders, masculine and feminine. So let's start. In Punjabi language, every noun or every object has a gender. So sentences are made according to the gender of the object. So how do you know the, what is the gender of the object? So usually the rule of thumb is if the word end with a that is called mukta in Punjabi or longer that is a or we can say kanna ending with kanna in Punjabi then the most of the chances the object will be a masculine object. On the other hand if the object end with the sound of e that is called Bihari in Punjabi then the object is feminine. The example of masculine sentences are Bandar. You should know that the end ending ends with uh, Mukta, that's uh, Bandar. So it's a masculine Bandar or Bandar means a monkey or you can say a Kutta that it is end with a Kanna, a long A sound. It means dog or Billa ends with long A sound, Kanna. So it's a masculine or sap mukta short a sound so it's a masculine so now let's mix the feminine verse of, of this so the masculine uh, the feminine of bandar will be bandri we have we have added e in the ending to make the masculine into feminine so bandar bandri or uh, on the if we have to make the feminine of a cat uh, masculine is billa and we remove the kanna a sound from the billa and put the bihari e sound so it will be from billa it will be billi that is feminine some more examples are kabutar that means pigeon and the feminine of it will be kabutri or dada that means grandfather and the feminine of uh, grandfather that is grandmother will be dati sometimes while making feminine sentences we have to also add nana that's hana sound with the bihari and for example sap that means snakes and to make it feminine you have to add bihari plus also you have to add the nana sound so sapani the feminine of uh, sap that's female snake or pagat that's a saint and his feminine will be Paktani, we you have to add Nana and Bihari, Nani, Paktani. You can say Thag, that's a cheater. And to make it feminine, you have also have to add Nana and Bihari, Thag, Thagani. So, there is also some sentences that don't follow any rule. For example, Bebe and Bapu. Bapu means father and the, mask, the feminine of the this will be Bebe. So it do, doesn't fo follow any rule. There are many other words like this that don't follow any uh, any rule. Like Gabru, that means uh, a young 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 boy, and his family will be Mutia, that means a young girl. Or, or you can say Munda, that means a boy, and Kudi, that means a girl. So don't try to be get confused too much. You should just remember the simple thumb rule that. If the word ends with a or a, then it's masculine, and it's to and it's, if it ends with Bihari e sign sound, that it, then it is a, a feminine. And to most of the words, uh, to make them f from masculine to feminine, you just have to add Bihari. So, kala, kali, kala, kala means black, and to make it feminine, it's kali, you have to add Bihari. So just remember this rule. To make feminine, you just have to remove a sound and put Bihari uh, E sound in it and that will work most of the times. So that's all for today mates. Hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions then you can ask in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe so that you get notified every time I upload my video and share it to a friend who might find this useful. You can also follow me on Instagram at Punjab Youth in Action. There is also a link in the description box. Tell them. Sasrika.